But hey, it's time to do 2018 Top Scrum Baseball. Hobby, number 24, come on. Oh, Corey, dude, I beat that thing up all the time. I, I do that thing all the time. All right, here we go. Conor McGregor's talking that smack right now. Corey says, show me some Acuna Jr., Albies, Robles. Okay. Will, 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 will do. All in all, though, it's it's going to be a great fight, I think. It's like Chris Fitz says. Khabib, amazing wrestler. McGregor, stand-up game at 100. So if McGregor could catch him with that left hook, he could put him to sleep. But Khabib, Khabib could wrestle his ass off, man. When is this fight supposed to go down anyway? October 6. That's like two weeks from now or something like that? Okay, so yeah, about two weeks from now. Noise. So now, dude, I got, I got, we, I got to throw like a fight party or something, dog. I need, I need, to, I need to pause this, uh, this conference here. Conor McGregor's such a troll. <laughs> I love it, man. He's such a troll, but he's so good at it. All right, well, Corey, you wanted to see a, an Albies? There's an Albies right there. Oh, you wanted to see an Acuna? Well, there's an Acuna right there. Boom. Two of the three already. Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton, if you're nasty. For the Yankees to uh, 99. That's a nice hit. That's a nice hit right there. What else we got? And it's a photo variation, too, for the Stanton. Dallas Keiko negative for the Astros. Garrett Cooper, Marlins refractor uh, autograph. I'm just messing with you, Corey. That's the 4 dollars right there. You know, I am a smartass. Well, another Acuna. You, you didn't specify if you, you know, if you wanted to see an autograph or not. You just drew me names out there. Victor Arano, Phillies uh, rookie auto. Jose Quintana, or the Cubs green. 
to 99. Man, it's my dog's birthday, Chris Fitz. Man, you gotta do you gotta do a big this weekend, dog. Like my birthday's coming up in November. And I'm not one to like really like want to celebrate my birthday. But dude, this this is like my last year of my 20s, dog. So I want to do you know I'm about to be 29. Got, you know, Lord Lord willing. You know, I kind of kind of want to do something. I don't know what quite yet. But like for my 30th I want to do like a, like like a grown like a grown man party, you know what I'm saying? Maybe go to Vegas or something. Me and my boys, me and the homies, we're planning a uh, we're planning a cruise for next year though. That should be fun. Are the Dolphins winning the East? Oof, tough question. I don't know, man. We have a really tough schedule, bro. Uh, yeah, Corey, in our eBay break, spoiler alert, everything ships. In our eBay breaks, everything ships. Uh, but, dude, as far as us winning the East, man, I don't, I don't know, man. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. I'll be honest. I think the Patriots are going to do Patriots things. They're probably going to win the division. And then from there... You know, not for nothing, but I like I like I got, I got nothing but respect for the Jets. They're definitely a tough team, so I think that they'll be in contention for the wild card, along with us. I don't think we're gonna I don't think we're gonna win the AFC East. Just being you know just being honest, I like to have low expectations so I don't uh, get disappointed. Uh, but yeah, realistically, I don't see us winning the division, but I do see us winning at least ten games. Maybe 11, get in as a wild card. Maybe surprise some people. Uh, I do, I do like what I've seen so far, but it's been, it's been early. It's been really early, and not, not for nothing. We haven't really played like good teams. The Titans, yeah, they made the playoffs last year, but uh, the Jets, while they are, you know, on the, on the up and up, they haven't made the playoffs in I don't know how long. We play the Raiders this weekend. You know, they don't have a pass rush. Their defense is uh, suspect. So, you know, I don't know. It's But from here on out, our, our, our schedule gets way tougher. We got to play the Chiefs. We got to play... I think we also play the Steelers this year. Play the Steelers, the Browns, Ravens. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be tough, man. It's going to be tough. We have a really tough schedule. We have probably one of the toughest schedules in the league, which which I like because if we can win, if we can do well in the season, we should do well in the playoffs. Like if we can win games with our schedule, I think we can make some noise in the playoffs. I don't think we're gonna win a Super Bowl, but you never know, man. If if, we, if your team gets hot enough, you get on a roll, things happen. We shall see. We shall see. It'll be competitive, though. Uh, I think the uh, the Patriots are on uh, on thin ice here. Like, I don't know if you guys heard, but Tom Brady thought about retiring this offseason. Him and Bill Belichick's relationship is kind of on uh, kind of on the rocks, if you will. So, interesting, interesting. But for the Braves, though, that's nice. Max Fried. Of the Braves, 29 of 50. Very cool looking card. All right, what else we got? I'll tell you one thing, though, for sure. Marlins suck. The Marlins are terrible. But, you know, got, 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 a, got a hashtag trust the process. Alex Colomay of the Rays, purple. That's the 299. Bison, what's your team, bro? What is your team, Bison? What's up, Big Greg? Not to be confused with uh with Lil Greg. 
that, that's Big Greg right there. He once killed a man just by looking at him. Jacob Faria of the Rays. That is to 150. Should be another auto here. Got Ronald Herrera, Rangers rookie autograph. Chilling before work. You watching the McGregor in the Khabib press conference or what? Uh, I can Bison have him send me an email, but if he registered for an account, this is what I need your buddy to do. I don't, you know, he he's got to do some homework for me. I need him to send to forward me the confirmation email that we send out after you register for an account. So have him forward me that email and have it forwarded to RipCityCards at gmail.com. That way I can confirm that he or she registered and then once I have that I'll go ahead and send the code out so ripcitycards at gmail.com there's the email in the chat again have your buddy forward me the registration confirmation they, they receive in the email and I'll then send them the $15 code John Bone Jones is finally cleared to come back to the UFC. That crackhead. That guy's such a disappointment, bro. He'd rather get high than you know do what do you know do what he's uh not for nothing, man. But that. John Bones Jones, probably the best UFC fighter ever. Like pound for pound, the best. See, Katie, why? Why? What? My, my, like, why do people? Why do people hate on Mayweather? Is it because he's cocky and 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 arrogant about it and and all that stuff? I know a lot of people don't like that. I love that in my fighters, dude. If you're if you're in the fight game, you you have to be super cocky, super arrogant. Like you got to be larger than life. At least that's what I want from a fighter. You know, I don't I don't want a fighter who's out there like, oh, you know, thank you, thank you for the opportunity. Oh, you know, oh, you know, I'm gonna kick your butt. No, I don't want to hear that. Mayweather runs too much. My thing is this, like, when you guys watch boxing, is that really what you see? Mayweather, like, Mayweather, well, what I see is, I see, I see tactics. I see a game plan. 
I see somebody that's so fast that you can't hit him. Like he's like, dude. Uh, for people that say Mayweather runs too much, okay, yeah, I, I I can agree to some to some to some extent. But yo, how many times has Mayweather sat in the pocket, just stood there with his guard up, bobbing and weaving, counter punching, and you can't touch the man, dude. He like no nobody like respects how great of a defensive fighter he is. They just say, "Oh, he runs too much. Oh, he runs too much." But like, come on, man. And well, on that one, Big Greg, the man's not stupid. He wasn't gonna fight Pacquiao in his prime, where he you know would have lost more than likely. That's just that's just being a smart businessman. It's just being a smart businessman. You got Victor Robles Nationals uh, negative. You know, one of the biggest, the, you know, the number one rule of boxing, in case people forget, is to hit and not get hit. That is the number one rule in boxing. And I feel people forget this. The number one rule is to hit and not get hit. And Mayweather is probably, since Perno Whitaker, Probably the best defensive fighter we've ever seen. Oh, he runs too much. Like, come on, man. Felix Jorge of the Twins. Rookie autograph. Well, yeah, I hear you on that, though, Big Greg. I, you know, if you if you can if you want to be considered the best, you gotta fight the best. I agree a million percent on that. But at the same time, too. I like to see it from his perspective. He's a businessman. He's a businessman. He knows that people are going to want to see him fight. And people are going to want to see him lose. And et cetera, et cetera. So, I don't blame him. But he are the Indians to 75. Dude, like Mayweather's shoulder roll when he's in that half guard, that, that Philly guard that he has. Im dude, Im impeccable. Impeccable. Dude, Mike, his evasion techniques are ridiculous. Uh, dude. Oh, man. May Mayweather, I, I, I think Mayweather doesn't get the love he, does, he, he should be getting. Tanner Scott Orioles uh, rookie auto. And, you know, most of it beca because of himself. Because of one, who he is as a person and how he comes across, a lot of people don't really, uh, not, not really a fan of his. And you know, boxing is not as big as it used to be, bro. Like, let's just be honest. If Mayweather wasn't boxing. Who would be like the biggest attraction? Triple G? Canelo? Like, you know what I mean? Like who's who's the draw now in boxing? It's it's I hate to say it, but it's it's UFC now. Oh no, yeah, I hear you on that one, Big Greg. He that, that man's dodged many, many big fights. Like he dodged Oscar De La Hoya for the longest. And then when he finally fought Oscar De La Hoya, De La Hoya was like five years past his prime. And De La Hoya still put a nice spanking on him. Same thing when he fought Mosley. Mosley caught him a few good times. And then Mayweather woke up and was like, ah, you ain't touching me no more. That fight should have happened like five years ago or whatever. Same thing when he fought uh, Pacquiao. But you know, it's, it's all it's all business. It's, it's all business. It's all business. Mosley rocked the hell out of Mayweather. And dude, that was that's probably the closest Mayweather's ever gotten to like to getting knocked down. 
I don't think he's ever been knocked down in his career. Uh, Mayweather. And dude, Mosley rocked him. Yes, I agree, Mike. I think that's the biggest punch he's ever taken. The closest I've seen him to getting knocked out. And I followed Mayweather for pretty much his whole career. Back when back when he was with Pretty Pretty Boy Floyd and his daddy was in his corner before his uncle got there and turned them turned them into money made. But yeah, Mosley rocked them. And what happened after that? After Mayweather regained his composure? I don't think Mosley landed another hit after that. So, you know, a lot of people like that Mexican fighting style, which is not disrespectful at all to the Mexicans. You know, people just want their, oh, just stand inside of the middle of the square and just throw punches and don't block and, you know, don't, you know, don't, you know, just, just throw punches the whole fight. You know, Rocky style fighting. Which, by the way, Corey, that next Rocky movie, but I guess, I guess it is a Rocky movie, Apollo 2? With Yvonne Drago's son? Oh my god. I can't wait. I, I wonder if they're going to have like a Lion King Mufasa moment. Where they're going to have like Apollo. Like, you know what I mean? Like like Creed. Uh, what, I, I don't know what the kid's name is. I forgot his name. But Apollo's kid is going to be like. It's going to be like a, reflect, uh, like a reflection moment. And then, you know, he's going to like see his father in the night sky. And his, and his dad's going to be like, what you doing, boy? Oh, I can't, I can't whoop on Drago. His, his father killed me. Avenge me. Kind of situation. I don't know. Imagination. But, uh, this is the last box here. What do we got? Biggest hit is that fried gold. Let's see if we can do a little bit better than that. Like a super fracture or something. That would be noise. Yeah, Corey, they're making a sequel to to, to Creed where uh, Apollo's son, played by Michael B. Jordan, is going to fight Ivan Drago's son. And apparently, Ivan Drago's supposed to be in the movie too. I just want to know, is there going to be a montage in like a DeLorean or something? Because I, because I, I got to see that. I got to see that. Is that Granite Twins rookie autograph? I think it's supposed to come out later this year, Corey. Have you seen the first Creed movie? I liked the first Creed movie. It was pretty good. I liked it. Ooh, a little orange. Anthony Banda of the Rays. That'll be the 25. Boom. Boom. A redemption superstar sensation auto red refractor parallel of Noah Syndergaard. That's a big time card. That's a that's a reddest of five, if I'm not mistaken. Dag Corey. Yeah, well listen, not for nothing, but Creed really good movie. Really good movie. Well, that was a really big card there, so we ended with a bang on that, because that's it for the break. Alrighty, let's go ahead and recap. So we got a Robles Nationals negative and a Keiko Astros negative. Uh, for the color, we got that purple stuff for Alex Colomay of the Rays to 299. We got that blue stuff, Jacob Faria of the Rays, that's to 150. We got some green stuff. Quintana of the Cubs, Stanton of the Yankees, and then that's a photo variation for the Yanks, uh, Stanton, both numbered to 99, got a little blue wave for Mejia, Indians, to 75, and a little orange for you, Anthony Banda, the Rays rookie, 24 of 25, and now the autos, we got a Granite Twins rookie, Tanner Scott Orioles rookie, Jorge Twins rookie, Herrera Rangers rookie, Arano Phillies rookie, Garrett Cooper of the Marlins refractor auto to 4.99, a gold wave for Max Fried of the Braves to 50, and 
Superstar Sensation Auto. Red Refractor Parallel of No Syndergaard of the Mets. And that, my friends, is going to do it for the break.